we are here to make drinks in order to increase our drops. All right, drops are drops. All right. Yes, I'm ready for the taste of the, 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 the bartender life. Let's give it a shot. Get it. Do you get it, Luke? Oh, he didn't laugh. We made such a good pun and he didn't even laugh. Luke, I'm more like loser. Can we go over the... Here we go. Open for business. Ooh, another familiar face has arrived. Wait, why do I have to talk to him? Don't people come up to the bar? Am I a bartender or a waiter? I'm confused. What do you like being a I mean, I made one drink, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Alright, any size. Uh, Grey Valley Sunset would be... Wait, where is it? Recipe, please. Oh, there it is. Three juice. So, the way to make juice is to take juice, add juice, and then, guess what? Add more juice. I know, genius. Three. Oh, look. Could we not have just poured for an extended duration instead of doing three times? What is this? I guess it's like a punch. Cool. We just have to do the order. There's no like time or anything. Uh, whatever. I said any size. It's a weird cup to put juice in, but okay. It looks like a like a tall teacup almost. Oh, it just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset is the first drink I ever mixed. Is it? I feel like that's why you ordered it, though, Dilly. Really? Still quite young. You probably just from the end. Okay. I just a glass of fruit. <laughs> Just a glass of fruit punch. So it is a mix of fruit juices. I feel like they should give us like different fruits, right? It should be like apple juice and pineapple juice and other apple related juices that you mix together into a drink instead of just juice, juice, juice. My father was equally surprised. Uh oh. I didn't really oh no. This is when we discover that father actually loved Kaya most. And <laughs> Deluc was always underappreciated. <laughs> I mean, your father's like a like a what, a, a winer, and and you're and you're like a, a teetotaler. It's 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 kind of uh, funny that you inherited the vineyard. Um. Uh, I'm not sure if either of these things are true, but uh, if we have to lie to him, we may as well, I suppose. Anyway, now we have the Primo gems, but more importantly. We have made a drink for someone, and every time you make a drink for someone, you have guaranteed good drop rates. Surely they wouldn't give us so few Primo Gems, unless there was some sort of hidden bonus that affected our drop rates. We have killed the Regis farm in the slowest time ever in the history of Genshin. However, that only gives more time for the drink juju to work its magic, meaning we are guaranteed to get great drops. Uh, what? I is this just trolling me? Giving me a four liner and it's got flat defense and defense percent with EM attack and no crit sets? I guess this is not the worst piece ever, but. Clearly, I'm not getting great drops. Is the purple one secretly amazing? No. <laughs> why? Why Why is it not working? I, I was so sure that that this mini game that 
really has nothing to do with anything else in Genshin apart from Deluca, I suppose. Must have some sort of significance beyond the minute amount of Primu gems. But, but for some reason, my drops seem unaffected. Uh, I'd like to clock in, clock in for my, my shift. Um, I guess we have to say yes to Luca, even though his dialogue is the. Oh, go away, Jose. Nobody likes you or your music. Like, why is there piano music and there's a guy playing a lyre? Is this a lyre or a harp? I'm not sure. I think it's a lyre. In any case, whoever told me that that you could get increased drop rate is also a liar. Um. Ooh. I didn't expect to see you two buying the cone today. Well, we're not. In that case, I'd like a dark afternoon. I can kill you before noon if that's convenient for you. Leave it to Kaya to make things difficult, right? Oh, don't worry about me, Rosaria. I'm already a pro. Uh I, I can do any drink. I just wanted to see how you'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. How about we start with something simple, like it? A moonlit alley. Moonlit alley. Death after midnight or whatever. Like, all the names. I feel like he just chooses his drinks by the names, right? Just the ones that sound the most dramatic. Up to you. Just make it a tea of some kind. And Got it. All right. Moonlit alley. This thing. Mock up, basically. Cool. Coffee. Cocoa paste. And then we add the milk. That's the correct order. Just, just to clarify. You're making it wrong if you do it any other way. And there we go. Boom. We mix it. I, I don't know how stirring it in that specific sea. Large. I made it extra large. We don't have any tea recipes. I think we add... Th she says not too big, so it could be medium, but I'm just going to go small in case. Seems reasonable. Misty Garden. There you go. Mm, it's just what I rarely ever drink. What, then why did you order it? Ooh. You've had a negative tea drinking experience in the past, Rosario? Please do spill. The church once held an event that I oh, wait a sec. Sister Barbara still saved some, Save some tea and dessert for me. Is this the thing with the Albedo story quest? Well, we're going to be a guinea pig for Albedo, and she's like tracking us and, and watching the whole time and thinking that we're up to something, and Albedo is super untrustworthy. So then she gets back, and Barbara's kept it for later. I mean, it was tea, so it would probably taste similar. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. I mean, she she already liked tea by the sounds of it. It's just that she's like gone off tea for a while because of the bad memories of that time she stalked us when we were hanging out with Alveda. And she could have just gone to the event instead of creeping behind us all the time. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, excuse me. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? Uh. If I think you're lying about them, then hell no. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Uh, I feel like you'd, man you'd manipulate us any chance you got, Kai. You've done it before. <laughs> Red's only interested in people or things that intrigue him, whether that's you or entirely. How could you divulge so much about your dear old I mean, that was pretty surface analysis of your personality, Kai. I don't think she divulged much that we didn't already know. You think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. For a cryo character, she sure knows how to give a good burn. Are there really that many people who don't need to work? You know, like a mascot. So I guess there's really no contest for the title of <laughs> best bartenders. So really what you're saying is there's no competition, therefore we win by default. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that went completely over Paimon's so head. She just didn't even realize. Look, mascot's a slight step up from emergency yeah, food. Look at it that way. By the way, that black tea tasted great. I'll try to make some for myself in the future. If I can manage to get up early enough in the morning, that is. I mean, you can always just make it once you're up. Like, there's no, like, time limit on when you can drink tea. Weird. I have to be up at 6 a.m. to make tea, or the tea will not taste good enough. So now we need to experiment and see. Will drops guarantee good drops? I'm starting to think this thing is, is not true. Now technically, it only has to increase the drop rate somewhat.
we get good drops from making drops good drops for drops <gasps> we have another goblet will be as good as the last one that we got before making any beverages no all right ready for business another familiar face i mean i pretty much know everyone around here zhongli <gasps> Are we going to make him an Osmanthus wine? I want to sit down with my old friend. How have you been, Jolie? Traveler, good to see you. I trust you are well? I mean, you know. If I am to roam about the world, then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. The free and prosperous land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. Well, there you go. And it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. I mean, I am meant to be on duty. Ah. So we just do this. Um. The tea is sweet and glows with a pleasing hue. Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. Exquisite. Huh. Thanks, Shirley. Mindfully uh, savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. Yeah, Paimon. Maybe you should show due respect to the traveler once in a while. Tea of good quality is hard to come by, and those capable of brewing tea according to the occasion and emotions even more so. You're too kind, Shirley. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more, the more you, you understand. Subtle differences. Hmm. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. I'm actually drinking tea as I'm playing this. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched scent. Ooh, so good. Whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. Oh, like ours, right, Jungli? That's that's why you like it so much. According to Liyue ancient tradition, Ooh. you could acquire a vintage gum, Ooh. which is used specifically for examining the aroma. I think that's the gum I got earlier, the really great pyro one. To worry. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. Well, maybe for someone who's immortal, but what I shared with you today are mostly my own thoughts as an old fashioned Liyue local. Each okay. region has its own key traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of okay. the local region. So what you're saying is we made pretty good tea for a monster. Thank you for such excellent tea. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. If you ever come to manage a tea house, I will certainly oh. be a regular. What about business partners? I could use someone with your expertise as a consultant. Regardless, you have my complete. Let's call it a day. I won't take more of your time. All <laughs> the best with your new pursuit. <laughs> Wait about the bill. Classic jungly. Yes. The bill. <laughs> Just put it. Oh, shoot, you little father's tab. <laughs> he still doesn't understand the use of Mora. Typical Morax. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, now. What am I going to farm? Is the, is the question. Because we just did drops. We made only a good drop of tea. Now. We should have good drops. Right? That's, that's how this works. Um. Guaranteed. Oh, what? Alright, let's do it. I will be the support. He boy's gonna get it done. Wait, did someone leave just as we're starting? Oh, whatever. We don't need him. We got Bennett. Bennett can do everything. Solo. I don't even need these teammates.
made a number of drinks. I think I can use two condensed resin and still have enough drop exploitation from all the amazing drops I made. All right, all right, see, look. We got good stuff. HP, man, what's going on? I'm meant to get amazing drops. Finished it off. Kill still like a delinquent. This is why all everyone abandons Bennett, because he kill steals. That's the thing. Everyone thinks Ben is so innocent, but he's a shameless kill steal, and you never knew. It really doesn't matter in this game whatsoever. Here we go. Oh man, that's not good. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of trashy, but like a support maybe. I'm going to lock it for now. Sorry, guys. I got to go. We did get that one goblet. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And it's HP. <laughs> so, this experiment into the drops for drops formula uh, seems to be unsuccessful. 